so I've been asked to talk about stress, relaxation, and mindfulness as it relates to heart disease. And, you know, there was a period of time when the only really research that was being done on this subject was done by Hans Salai at all. Have, have any of you heard of this work? They talked about the type A personality. Yeah, everybody's heard about that. That became a seminal bit of research that everybody has heard about. But it sort of gradually petered away because we learned about type A personality. We sort of, many of us decided that we either were or were not type A and said, oh well, here I am, and then have gone about our life. I was fascinated when um, we start when I started to review the the more recent research on stress and heart disease. And actually, the first article that I'll call your attention to was done uh, by Pincus et al. and it's called Psychosocial Influences and Mortality. And he reviewed one of the most important pieces of research that was done in the mid '80s that was called the uh, Heart Attack Beta Blocker Trial. Do you all know what beta blockers are? Those are medicines, propanolol, atenolol. If any of you have had a heart attack, chances are that you're on one of these medications. And the reason for that is this and a few other studies that were done at that time. What this study in particular showed is that if a person had a heart attack and was given the medication, in this case they looked at propranolol, they had an 8% likelihood of dying within three years after having the heart attack. If they did not take the medication, they had a 12% risk of dying after they've had a heart attack. Now, that doesn't sound like a huge difference, but for any of you who've ever looked at research at all, there's a thing called statistically significant. And what that means is that the researchers have decided that the difference between taking the medicine and not taking the medicine is worthwhile enough that it's important to emphasize. So as a result of this study, it is now basic standard of care. A physician would be uh, looked at as having done an error if we don't put a person who can tolerate it on a beta blocker after they've had a heart attack because it makes enough of a difference. What is absolutely fascinating is that very same study, and there were 3,000 people involved in this study over many different centers, so it was an enormous study. That very same study also looked at two major categories of events. One they called life stresses, and they defined that as recently having had a divorce or a breakup in the family, um, being in a job you hated, or recently being retired and really missing your job, or some other major traumatic life event that anybody would agree was major trauma. So that was one whole category, life stresses. The other big category they looked at was social isolation. And they defined that by sort of the way you would expect, either that you don't have contact with family and you're not involved with any organization, you don't feel like there are friends you can talk with, you know, those kinds of things. So they looked at those two things. Now, let me tell you, those people who scored low on both of those two elements had a 3% risk of death after having a heart attack within the same three years. Compared with those who had scored high in both of those elements, having a 14% risk. See, that's an enormous difference compared to the beta blocker. So the question that should be on all of our minds is, so why aren't we focusing on this more? Well, I have my pet theories about this, some of which I probably won't commit to video. <laughs> One, of course, is that simply there are no major industry that's going to make a lot of money on it, frankly. And the other is, it's a whole lot easier to take a pill than it is to address life stresses. I mean, one of the thoughts that crossed my mind, frankly, as I read the study is, where in heaven's name did they find enough people <laughs> who didn't have life stresses to even do the study? <laughs> So that could leave us all a little bit depressed. You know, it's sort of like, <laughs> well, great. You know, I'm hosed. If I have stresses, what am I going to do? Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm going to get to the part of the program that tells you there is a way out of this predicament. But...